I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA Ocean, and I want to talk about buoy stability. Here's an example of a self-stable buoy. This is an Ocean Observing Initiatives buoy designed by Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. It doesn't need any mooring load to hold it upright in the water column. It's in about 100 meters water depth, and it uses a rubber tether to hold it in place. Uh, this is a little bit of an unusually active uh, scenario in tilt just because of the moderate sea is kind of close to the buoy natural period in tilt. But the main point is it doesn't need to have a, any kind of mooring preload to hold it upright. Now in contrast, a buoy that isn't self-stable needs a lot of mooring preload to hold it upright. And a good example of that is a MOBS buoy, also designed by Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, which we can see here. And this is in about a thousand meters water depth, and it's got several tons worth of wire rope uh, holding it, holding off the bottom of the buoy that's keeping it upright. And that's by design; it's it's intended to do that. Uh, the buoy is very, very lightweight and has a lot of flotation. It's great for deep water applications. So, very different kind of scenario, different kind of buoy, but just a difference between a buoy that's self-stable and that isn't. Thanks for watching.